from the set of Shut Down Fullback, but with a more serious tone. I'm Spencer Hall. I'm Jason Kirk, and we're going to talk a little bit of conference realignment. Big topic these days. The grand story of our time. Jason Kirk. Well, we got the Big 12, a conference that was on its deathbed. Now it's set to possibly get a little bit bigger. Uh, they're not quite sure. Maybe they bring in Florida State. It's a rumor at this point. Maybe they look down the road. Maybe they try to court Notre Dame. Maybe they see who Florida State would want to bring along. Louisville rumors have been with us for about a year. Where do we see this all going? Do we, is the era of the Super Conference upon us? I think the era of the Super Conference is actually already here. And it's been here for several years. Uh, well over a decade. This is just a shaking out at this point. Now we're evicting the poor people from the neighborhood and gentrifying fully into four separate neighborhoods, each patrolled rigorously by a standard of living that no other conference can keep up with. That's what's happening. The SEC and Big 12 obviously pairing up uh, sort of in a dyad against the Big 10 and the Pac-12. It's not adversarial because everyone's making money. See, I kind of wonder if the Super Conference thing is kind of the singularity for college football fans, where it's this thing that might never happen, but the, sci the, the sci-fi fan of college football assumes it's gonna happen. So we, everything, every move, we see this narrative sort of baked into it. We see Florida State might wanna go to the Big 12 because of the ACC. Oh, well, therefore, the Super Conference is upon us, you know. And we see the two conferences on each side pairing up, and it's an easy fit narrative to see 16 times four equals this number. And I mean, I, like you look at the Pac-12, and I just don't know who geographically they can add to get to 16, that would make sense, unless you go to Canada. Sitting in Vietnam, man, no one's going to Canada. Yeah, although Mexico is next frontier in college football, and boy, I really, really, really can't wait to see that. You talk about boosters. <laughs> Fiesta! The ACC and the Big East. Yeah. We'll, it, we'll, we'll pause for the laugh track right now. Um, <laughs> Do you, do you think the ACC and the Big East can sort of find a place at the table? No, they have no place at the table. Right now, all they can do is hope to solder together a reasonably competitive conference that's going to serve as kind of a, a mudroom for the Grand Mansion. It's where everybody will take their boots off is in the ACC and Big East, and then they'll enter the palace that the other four conferences get. Notre Dame also, by the way, if we're going to continue the fictional conceit here, left behind. They're going to be... Uh, out and out of any kind of automatic agreements that they have. Their NBC contract is what gives them life. It is extended through 2015 at this point. After that, it's a matter of faith for the Fighting Irish. Oh, Tom Rinaldi, what's up? So, 2014, that's when playoffs start. That's when the SEC Big 12 thing kicks in. And a year after that is when Notre Dame's contract is up. And that will truly be the end of days and our Independence Day. Welcome to Earth, Notre Dame. Until then, it's going to continue to be mayhem. We'll find out more about the playoffs you know, later this summer. And that's when the Big 12 may or may not make a move. But over the next two or three years, things will happen. That's yeah. all we know. <laughs> yeah, if you're a team not in a conference right now, get a P.O. box. Find a conference. <laughs>